today's video is going to be a purse collection video i've been wanting to do this video for a long time because i have so many purses and i literally buy purses every day if not every week and it's a problem some of these i've bought in some of them my grandma has given to me some of them my mom has given to me and other family members before i get into the video i wanted to give a shout out to adrian we're working on a project and i can't really say too much about it but um we had a table read the other day and I'm pretty sure by saying table read, you know what I'm talking about. But he got me a gift and he didn't have to. And normally people don't buy me gifts. I buy people gifts. So this was very sweet. And I'm definitely going to have to go shopping this weekend for when I see him again. The packaging was much nicer than this. But I already opened it. So I tried my best to put it back the way I remember it as. But it couldn't do that good of a job, obviously. Yeah, I have this little sticker right here. There was a note. But it's inside the box because I, I accidentally put it inside the box instead of outside. This is the little card that was in it. This is literally so adorable. Like I've never seen it. Like an Apple letter, you know? And it says from Apple Incorporated and AR Incorporated, which is his business. And then it says to Annalisa Pena. And then the Apple logo again. And they were beads. I love these so much. The color is literally everything. These are so nice. Beads are so expensive and... I've never owned a pair of Beats, so this is really exciting. And I don't even have headphones. Like, I have the ones for my iPhone, but these are wireless, so I'll definitely be using these. The headphones that I do have, they don't work that well. Like, they're pretty much broken. And when I edit videos, I need headphones, so this is perfect. I'm so excited about this. And you just open this thing right here, which is super easy. And then it opens up. This is like a Volt, and it's like the best thing. Like, the sound is the best thing in the world. And I tried repackaging it. I know, they were way nicer than the way I did this. And when you open it, it has extra things here for you. And then it comes with a case and a charger. Like this is literally the sweetest thing ever. Like thank you so much. I'm gonna leave his Instagram and all of that on the screen and in the description so you guys can follow him. And you will be seeing him on my Instagram soon, of course. These are the beads and I'm so excited. I already unboxed them because I've been using them today. The first purse is this one and it's a Betty Boop purse and I love her so much. Literally my queen. It just says Route 66. This is definitely a collector's item I feel just because I don't see purses like this anymore. And it just has this fuzzy stuff on top. Super cute and I use this as decoration in my room but I also wear it sometimes. The next one is this red Chanel bag and it's kind of dirty because my mom would use it for her tapes and stuff like that from when she was younger and she had like ink in here too and it was just a mess and I was like mom why are you using a Chanel bag for that so I took it because it's Chanel but I use this for decoration too I really love it and the inside of this purse is literally everything like look so cute and I use that one for decoration in my room too. The next one is this Victoria's Secret bag. I love the rainbow lettering. I might wear this to Pride this year. Rainbow all right here. These are kind of dirty because they are used as decoration in my room. And you know, dust and stuff like that is a thing. So, sorry. And then on the inside it comes with three makeup bags. Super cute. So this next bag, I've been using it as my purse currently. My grandma gave this to me and it's literally the cutest bag ever. So this is what I've been using as a purse lately. Look how cute it is. Oh my god, I love it so much. Um, it's a coach bag and I just, I love this. Like this is all I could ever ask for. Like are you joking? So cute. I love the different patches. Next bag is this one and I got this when I went out of town a long time ago with Hygieia. I saw this at a thrift store and I was like, oh my god, I need this because I needed a purse at the time because I left mine at home. And I got this one. I love all the colors. I love the design. I just think it's so cute. And this is a separate bag. I put this on it just because I think it looks cute together. And this is a Dooney and Burke bag. This was my mom's. Love the logo. In the other video, I talked about Dooney and Burke. This is another one of their bags. And I am in love with it. This is another purse that I've been using. And I've never seen a purse like this. And I got it at the thrift store for 8 bucks. I went to Austin last week. And it's this cocktail has bourbon right here and it's a lady in a suit like that is so cute i love that and on the back it's just normal it doesn't have any beads on it this is another bag that i got when i was in austin it just says xo all over it and i love that it's red i was gonna get the green one that they had with it but it was just really rusted and stuff and i didn't get it after all i don't like when this is out i mean it's cute it just needs to be clean so i'm not gonna have it out all the time i need to clean it first these beads bother me but when you turn it this way oh my god so cute 
This purse my grandma had it made for me in Mexico. This just has a hummingbird on it and a butterfly and some flowers and I love this so much. It's a super big purse. It's bigger than my face. <laughs> I love this one too and I don't really use this as much but when I wear white pants or a dress or something I will use this and it's really cute. Like super big purse. Jesus. This is another one. It has these little beads all over it. I also got this from a thrift store. Literally, they have the best purses ever. In case you didn't know, now you know. Love how furry this is. When I had pink hair, I will be going back to it soon, so don't get too comfortable with this blonde hair. When my hair dye got on it, I think I was using it as a pillow. I really don't even know, but it just gives me mean girl vibes. I love this bag so much. It fell off of it, but I'm gonna fix it. So my mom gave me this bag. Well, I shouldn't say gave it to me because I took it from her. It's just a green handbag and it's super cute. You can definitely tell it's old school because this little old phone holder and it's in great condition, honestly. My mom really took care of her stuff. My mom got this for me. I don't know if she got it at like a dollar store or I don't remember. She said she got it somewhere really cheap and I was like, well, it's cute. So thank you for thinking about me. These hoops are so extra. This is everything. I know a lot of people probably think this is ugly, but I think it's really cute. And these things come off really easily. I don't know what I would wear it with, but I have worn it before, so. I don't remember if I've talked about this bag. I'm pretty sure I have in the last video, the haul video. But this is just a Dooney and Burke bag, and I use this a lot as a purse, too. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. This is the Tommy Hilfiger bag that I talked about in the last video, so I'm not going to talk about that too much either. This is an old Victoria's Secret bag. I know, girl. Really? I didn't even know it was Victoria's Secret, so I looked it in this. This is one of my mom's purses, and she used to wear this a long time ago in all her pictures, and I love this. I love the material. Just super cute. I didn't even notice that it was dirty right here. I can only tell in the light. I love this color. Oh my god, this orange. Girl. These two tiny bags are my favorite bags by far because they're so extra, and you can't put anything in them. Maybe some lip gloss and your keys and your knife or something because I carry a knife with me. It's right here, girl, let me show you. It says my name and it has these cute stars on them and these stars used to have glitter on them but they came off and I was so sad. So this is a clover purse. I love this, you can make it longer if you want to. Yeah, just so extra, I love glitter so this is everything. This is a roller skate, literally the cutest thing ever. I love how extra this is too because it has like the, the laces. Literally so cute. I haven't even used this yet, but you can't put anything in here. See, you can't really fit a lot. And I had to buy it. My mom was like, Miha, you're literally not going to be able to fit anything in there just like your other clover purse. And I was like, mommy, I know. <laughs> but look how cute. I couldn't say no. Look at the sparkles on this. Just look how beautiful it looks. If you know me personally, you know I went to Pershing and I used to wear this every day i was in my emo stage of life and i wore this every day hello kitty is my queen too i love her so much this one is probably a little bit dirty because i literally wore this every day for like three years i would never get rid of this i have a whole area for hello kitty in my room i really do have an obsession i have her stickers i have her books her old books i have all her vhs tapes her cds girl i have everything <laughs> And when I get my own house, I want a whole room dedicated to Hello Kitty. This bag is a little dirty too because I just found these in my baby stuff. It just has a little pom-pom right here and Hello Kitty is a ballerina because I was in ballet for most of my life. So I love this so much. I have more purses in this bag right here and in the hallway. So if you want a part two to this purse collection video, then let me know because we can make like... 15 parts and I still wouldn't go through all the bags that I have. This is another Hello Kitty bag. I wore this all the time as a kid too. I'm actually in really good condition. A little dirty. The next bag is the Sweeney the Pooh bag. This is me, my brothers, and my mom's. Each bag when we were younger, we literally used this every day when we went to Galveston. Like it's nasty there, so we don't talk about her. I love this bag and it just brings back a lot of memories. It has this little coin bag inside of it and it says poo, which is literally so cute. And then there's a little fish on the back. Love this, love this material, everything. This is another one of my favorites. And it's this googly eye bag and this is the mouth. This is literally so adorable. And the reason I bought it was because of the googly eyes. And it's a really long purse. It's like adorable, like come on, you can't say it's not. Like look. This is one of the purses that I usually always wear. It's just a coach purse. I wear this so much. So I've been trying to switch it up and use my other purses. <laughs> As you can tell, the back of my door is in about to fall off because all the purses aren't on it like they usually are. Another one is this one. I wouldn't consider this a purse, but I mean, use it as a purse if you really wanted to. If I've ever done your makeup, you know that I put all my makeup in here when I'm doing someone's makeup. Just because of how much space there is, you could literally fit anything in here. So you can kind of see it's a little dirty at the bottom, but it's 
it's so cute and has rainbows all over it. I love it so much. This isn't a purse. I got this in Austin too. It just has all these cute patches on it. I have a weird obsession with flamingos and then pineapple for my name, Pina, and this cute little leaf. And also when I was in Austin, when I bought this bag, they had these soaps and there was one that was a watermelon, which is this one, and I bought it. So cute. It even smells like watermelon. Oh my God, it smells so good. Yes, love that. I don't know if I showed this in the last video. I'm so like out of it right now. It just says get fresh. Love the cherries on it, just adorable. Next bag is this one and it just has some like little tassels on it. And it's this cute nude pink color. It's a very long purse too. And the cool thing about this one is you can open it like this, but it also has a zipper. And it holds a lot of stuff. Oh. Something fell out. My mom or my grandma got this made for me in Mexico. I don't remember. I think this is when I went to Ixtapa. My mom got it made for me. Um, something did spill inside of it and I messed it up, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because it means a lot to me and it's super cute to me. And I'd still wear it because it doesn't really look that bad. I mean, on camera, it looks pretty bad, but it's because of the lighting. If you're Mexican, I'm pretty sure you have one of these. I forgot what they're called, but these are very durable. Nothing will fall out of these ever. Like these will not rip, like they're strong, sturdy, cute bags. I got this at like Walgreens or CVS. I don't even remember, but it looks like a purse, right? But when you open it, it's like a blanket for when you go to the park or whatever you would need a blanket for. If you go to concerts and stuff and you want to sit down, you can use that instead of having to actually carry a blanket and I got that because Wilson goes to the skate park a lot and I sit there and watch him or record him and stuff like that so I was like we need something like that. This is another bag that I have and it's a Nike bag and it just says just do it right here and it's a cute basic little bag. I love this so much. I really don't use it that much but I definitely need to. This is another bag that I was obsessed with. When I went to Bel Air, I would use this for everything, like my pencils, my makeup, my, my lip gloss, my phone cases, my phone, everything. <laughs> this bag is one of my favorite bags. I love how old school it looks, just really cute. You can wear it, hold it like this or like this. I love that it's, it's like teal colored right here where you can hold it. I use this to hold my camera and other stuff because it has like the perfect amount of space for that. I wanted a camera holder really bad because the one that I have isn't the most stylish bag and so on my birthday Wilson got that for me and it's literally the cutest bag ever. So this is a Beanie Babies bag and my mom used to hold, she held a certain game that we had in it. So I wouldn't really consider this a purse, I just think it's a cute bag, I love the lettering and Beanie Babies of course is an old school brand so I thought that was cute too. One of my aunts got me this for my 16 last year and it's just a really cute bag i wanted to put something over this just because i don't like the way the lettering looks so i i wear it like this most of the time but it is a cute bag and i like the gold part mixed with the other type of material i think that's cute too i've always wanted a little cute kawaii bag like a clear one and i thought this was just a sticker this is a jello company i'm pretty sure you've seen this if you've ever been in the grocery store i thought this was just a sticker so i was like oh we'll just peel it off and i have this cute white and pink kawaii bag but it says jelly but i literally forced my mom to get this for my little brother because it was filled with jello because i thought that it was going to be a cute bag i'd still wear it that's the story behind that this is another bag that i have i love how this bag has like a reflect to it because of the material when you close it close it like this i never saw the lettering down here either until now <laughs> kind of dirty this is my mom's i love how this is like wiry this is the other bag that I showed in that haul already, so I'm not going to talk about that one either. I got this from Jambalaya. This isn't a purse, obviously. When I got the pineapple filled with the smoothie, they gave me this. It's a little red handbag. This was also my mom's, and I wear this a lot. So I love it. Once again, love the diamond shape. So cute. I honestly wish it didn't have these beads on them. I think it just looked cuter that way, but I still wear it. And lastly, this is what I use. I go for modeling. I take this bag with me. Oh my god, it's so heavy. It says mini on it, and it's so cute. So much stuff in it right now. So that's the end of the video. I hope you liked all my purses. I know some of them a lot of people wouldn't wear, but it's my preference and what I like. Like I said, if you want a part two to this video, I can do that. I have a lot of little handbags and like little purses, so if you're interested in that, let me know. Like I said, I have a whole hallway closet filled with them and my floor on the top of my closet everywhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway again once I hit 500 subscribers. 